The next thing we're going to do is show our cold and hot water line. So if we come up to our layers, um, select cold water line, and the first thing we're going to do, we're just going to draw a line, um, make sure it's straight outside of the building here, and this is our um, water main where the water is going to come into the house. And next we'll show um, where this cold water line comes to our tub over here on the right side. Uh, so we're just going to draw some lines. Make sure that they are straight. So that um, they come through this wall here and then straight up into our tub. And then we're gonna switch to our um, plumbing fixtures layer and we're gonna draw a circle with a diameter of three. And that's gonna be where the water comes into our tub here. Um, next, we're gonna wanna grab our fittings that we have here and then we can just kinda move them over so that they're closer um, to the plan here. And we're gonna show our elbow everywhere where our line turns. So you're just gonna wanna kinda line it up here with the corners and then you'll just trim your lines back. So you're gonna take this elbow, um, you're gonna copy and rotate it so that it's going in the right direction for all of these turns here. So it should look like this when you're done. Um, and then we're also going to take this symbol, which is your gate valve, and we're going to put it along this line right here. And then we also want to, um, we'll go back to our zero layer and we're going to add in some text here to show that that's our water main. And then if we zoom back into this um, bathroom here, we can copy this over to our toilet here and our sink as well. And we're also going to show um, the cold water line running into there. And then we're going to take our um, horizontal T fitting and then we're going to rotate it and bring it up to here. Um, the next thing we're going to do, take our symbol here for the hose bib and we're going to show it over here and then over here as well. 
and then we're going to show um, our cold water line coming from here. And then across to the other side. And then we're going to take our cross fitting, put it here, and then we're going to show our gate valve on either side. And then we also want to show our elbow over here as well. Then we're going to draw another water line along here, and we're going to have another um, hose bib outside this area of our house as well. And then we want to take our horizontal T fitting and put it there as well. And we're going to show another cold water line that goes straight across horizontally like that. And we're going to take our drain here and copy it over. And then we're going to show another cross fitting right here and then we're going to take our T and rotate it And then if we scroll in here to this side of our plan, we're going to need to show um, another water line that comes to our sink. Copy this over. And then we can show our T here. And we're going to show another one that comes down here to our toilet and also to our sink. And then we can add in our horizontal T Um, and our elbow. Copy the circle over. And I believe that's all of our cold water lines, um, but we want to label them with their size. So this one's going to be three quarter inch cold.
cold water um, and then rotate it in this direction. Make sure you have it, the text on the zero layer. And then we'll label this one as three, three quarter inch cold water. We can take this text, copy it to here. And then this one's going to be one half inch. So you can copy it over and just um, change the text or you can create a new text box, whatever is easier for you. So now we're going to switch to our hot water line layer. Um, and we're going to start our line here at our hot water heater. And we're going to come down and we're going to go across here. Um, to our laundry tub and then copy our circle up like that. Um, obviously not all of our fixtures need um, hot water but the sinks are ones that do so um, we're going to draw another line we're going to come from here down across our sink like that. And then we're going to show our horizontal T right here. So we'll just copy that fitting over 